This is the exact automation that you can sell to different HRs across the world and make more than $500 with every sale. Now, why would HRs buy this from you? This one automation will help them analyze the CVs automatically, rate those CVs based on the jobs, and that's how they'll be able to align interviews with their managers, saving them tons of hours. And right now I'm showing you how you can build it for free. So watch the whole video, otherwise you'll miss a lot. So we're starting with the on-form submission node. You can change it to anything you want. What this will do with, as soon as you test it out, it will generate a form, right? So this form will be given out to your candidates. They'll fill in their information, upload this CV and the process will start. Now you can add more information in it. I'll show you how. So you can see I've added name, I've added email and then the field name CV. Now you can add a lot more. All you need to do is add form element and you'll be able to add more. For example, you want to add maybe phone number, maybe birth date, anything like that. You can easily implement it inside this form. Once you've set up the form submission, the next step is going to be to upload the CV in inside a Google Drive or you can do it as per the company's requirement also. Now the reason we are uploading it on Google Drive is so that a CV is saved somewhere and easily can be accessed. The second note here is basically extracting all the data out from that particular CV. Usually CVs are in PDF format. So we have used a PDF one. We can add more data like if, if a company is getting more into Word format, we can add a note that can do for Word also. Now. Once the data is extracted from the PDF, it's going bifurcate it inside personal details and qualification. This is a very small code that I've written here. Uh, you can easily go to ChatGPT and ask it, I would like to do this. Can you please give me the code? ChatGPT will easily do it. So you don't have to learn coding at all, right? Once you copy and paste it here, this is basically taking out the telephone city and birth date of the candidate. And then the second one is going to be the qualification one. You can see we're seeing education qualification, whatever the I'll do expression and then you'll be able to see it. Summary of academic career, focus on high school and university studies. You can change it as per your requirement. Then we're looking for job history. If a person is experienced, this is where we're asking it to uh, extract that out. And then we're asking it to extract the technical skills that the person has. Once we do that, we are telling the system, what is your job? So we're telling it you're expert in extraction or uh, algorithm only extract relevant information from the text. You can even enhance this prompt. What I do is I usually copy and paste these prompts inside uh, Quinn or ChatGPT and ask it to make it much better and ask them to act as a prompt engineer and I get much better prompts. So you can definitely do that. Once you do that, all of this data gets inside a merge node, which combines all of them together. So once we have merged everything, we move to the summarization change. Now, this is an important one and you need to understand this carefully. We have individual summary prompt and we have final prompt to combine, right? So both of these prompts look pretty much similar to you if you read them out. But what this is doing is the individual summary prompt is basically giving the data out to the Excel. And this final prompt to combine is giving out the data to AI to understand what is the requirement. What this prompt is doing is it's asking to generate a concise summary of these following data, which is city, birth date, educational qualification, job history and skills. Once we do that, we move on to the profile that we're actually looking for. This is where you will be mentioning the profile that your employer or your HR is looking for, right? So we have written, we are a web agency and we are looking for a full stack web developer. This is the requirement that we have now. This whole automation is going to judge the CV based on this one requirement, right? You can definitely change it out since it will be based on the company's requirement. We can definitely make it more dynamic because a company might be looking for a marketing guy, maybe for an advertising guy, maybe for someone else. We can definitely make it more dynamic. If you want to see how to do that, just comment down below and I'll create the next video on how we can basically make it more dynamic. But right now, this is what we are doing. Uh, now this is going into the HR expert node, right? So what this is doing is, uh, we've given it a prompt that you are an HR expert and need to figure out the candidates. Once you figure it out, you need to give them the scoring based on the job requirement that we have. So what this will do is this will read the CV and see whether it is compliant to what we have as the job right now or not. And then if the candidate succeeds, basically they get the score of eight, nine, 10. It's going to give us a consideration field of why the candidate succeed. If it has not, it will give us why the candidate has failed. Once we do that, it will upload all the data inside the Google Excel sheet that we have. Now, uh, this is a structured output, which is basically uh, telling it to vote. Vote is basically the number from one to 10 based on the profile and consideration is why is it succeeded or why is it failed? So this is how this the whole structure is going to work. I'll quickly test it down and show you how this works. 
So now let me close these two. Let me save this out and let me refresh this once. And now we'll test this out. Test workflow. We got this. Let me write my own name. Let me write a random email here. And then we'll choose a CV. I've already got a CV. It's, it's a fake one downloaded from uh, Google. Now, when I submit it, you can see it has been running in the background. It has uploaded the CV, extracted the data out of it. Now it is summarizing the data and it has given me out the results in my Google Sheet. Now, if you go back to Google Sheet, this is where we have got our result, right? It is giving out all the educational job history details. Now, this resume is not at all related to a web developer. It is related to customer service, food service management, you can see. And that's why it has given a vote of one. This consideration, the candidate does not match the requirement of position at all because they have no skills related to Python and PHP. You can see this one particular automation can help HR a lot by saving a lot of hours in their workflow. Now this, you can easily copy this workflow, send out cold emails to a lot of HRs out there and you can sell this automation and they're going to love it. Now, the next automation is going to be how to create YouTube short videos with N810. So if you want to watch that, make sure to do subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, please do like it. It really supports the channel. Thank you.